Hello everyone, this is Gamer, and welcome back to Tell Me Why. Let's continue with Lesser Off, shall we? Sorry about the long wait. I've been uh, dealing with uh, some personal issues for the past few days, but I'm okay now. So let's keep on going. Well, not personal issues, more like personal things. Yeah. But it's okay, though, so. I'm fine now. Oh, shoot, I need to turn my fan. I forgot my fan's gonna be loud on the mic. I forgot about that. <laughs> I usually have the fan on because it's hot as heck in my room, but I don't want the fan to be on while I'm recording because you're going to hear the blowing noises on the mic. Ready to Veni Vidi Vecchi? I'm ready to talk to Tessa. <laughs> Just try to keep in mind that your memory of her is ten years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. Yeah, fair enough. So I'm guessing this is Michael? Trying to see if there's anything extra over here. I don't think so, so let's just keep going. Damn, gas prices are high hey, in you. Alaska. Hey, isn't it your day off? Yep, we're here as patrons. Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying co worker I was telling you about. I was there for your introduction to marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying co worker. Rude. <laughs> Don't worry, she told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. The Tyler talk goes on 24-7, so I feel like I already know you. So, uh, you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or...? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. We'll get it cleaned up faster if we literally cannot escape it. Hey, I'm all for efficiency. Cannot wait for us to get out of here. <laughs> What's that? Oh, uh, Michael is moving to Juno too. Oh, and did you guys plan on moving together, or...? Well, I mean, yeah. It'll be cheaper to share a place, but nothing's set in stone. Set in stone. Makes sense. There could be room for you too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. I'm studying to be a chef, so, uh, you know it'll be good eating. And hey, I only snore during allergy season. And baseball. <laughs> How can I say no to that? <laughs> <sighs> Are you okay? Dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah, there's this spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill, especially first thing in the morning. Shut up. I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, if you want to go sometime, holler at me. I don't mind sharing. Cool. Most guys I know get all Smeagol about their fishing spots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you two. Bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. <laughs> She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish. Even if she filled the lake with cyanide first. I'm not... Ugh, never mind. Tyler, we better get started with our shopping. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. <laughs> the future mayor of Delos Crossing. Tom Becky? Yep. Is it really that big of a shock? He owns the only store in Delos Crossing, and he's chummy with the old boys club. Uh, I guess. He never really struck me as having ideas, and he's not exactly charismatic. Hmm. Anything else I can check out around here? Oh, I just hit that for no reason. Look at the phone. All right. Hey, Ollie! Look, 
the ruler of this kingdom. Get it? Because it's a dome? <laughs> You're going to fall, stupid. That was funny. <laughs> I can't believe you didn't laugh. That was hilarious. Not as funny as you getting all pouty when I didn't laugh at your jokes. I loved baiting you. It was my favorite thing. Hmm. Authorized personnel. That way. I want to have the Christmas like Tocino and noodles yeah. and spring rolls. And can we get the coconut cake for dessert? Easy, easy, my hungry goblins. We have to leave some food for the other customers. Yep. But Auntie Tessa said we can have whatever we want. Too cheap to replace it. Cooking. She still make those, what are they called? Fried banana rolls? Tehran? Right. Mm, no, I'm pretty sure she made them special for us. <laughs> Today's special salmon lumpia with garlic fried rice. Oh, that sounds so good. Bibinga slice. I don't know what that is, but the salmon with the garlic fried rice sounds amazing. Tessa still doing that Bible study here every Wednesday? Mm-hmm. Wednesday nights are always packed. She cooks tons of bibinka and the Hail Marys start flowing. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of leftovers after the rapture. More for us? <laughs> I really hope they get enough signatures on this. On what? They want to build a fancy hunting lodge up the river. It's gonna totally screw up salmon migration. Yeah, that's not good. Crazy that they haven't caught him yet. Multiple incidents of mail thief. Mail theft. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Mail theft is like the worst thing to happen, especially if you're trying to get your stimulus check. Uh-uh. That's the worst. I guess we can only go through the front entrance. This place looks really nice. Well, hello, Miss Ronan. Did you forget something in the office? No, just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? Your brother? Oh, right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a mm? dapper young man. <laughs> well, I did shower this morning. <laughs> did you just get back into town, or...? More or less. We've been working out at the old house. But, surprise, surprise, after ten years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things. Hence the supply run. Ah, oh, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. It must be nice to be home. Uh, I'm not sure nice is the word for it. Oh, of course. I assume being there feels complicated. That's one way to describe it. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. I'm sure she'll be around later, though. Okay, so we need candles and an all-purpose cleaner. Plus snacks and drinks. I'm starving. <laughs> Look at this ATM machine. This 
is a really nice store. So, what are you thinking snack-wise? Are you a candy girl or a chips girl? Salty chips. Chips. Salt and vinegar is the only thing that sits right if my stomach's acting up. Wasn't planning on making out with anybody tonight. So, let's go for it. <laughs> you think you could take a picture of Michael, you want me to pick up some birch syrup for you? Is that some roundabout way of asking me to make you two my world famous pancakes? Ooh, busted. <laughs> Damn, those life jackets are snazzy. Hmm, which one says Tyler Ronan, Man of the High Seas? I mean, Stars and Stripes is a classic, timeless. But that bright orange one would really bring out my pasty complexion. Let's see, fresh cut peonies, triple layer chocolate chip cake, toasted marshmallow. Are you doing a dramatic reading of a fancy ass cookbook? Nope, just browsing these fancy ass candles. <laughs> Mm. Got any Plain candles are fine. in Juno? Oh, yeah. Um, well, there's a passable cooking school there. I'm gonna be a chef. Oh, you gonna open up your own restaurant? Oh, slow down, Tiger. <laughs> Maybe someday, but in the meantime, I'll be washing dishes as I work my way up Juno's cutthroat diner industry. I bet you won't be washing dishes long. Yeah, I'll graduate to slinging Adam and Eve on a raft. Uh, what? The eggs and toast. I've been studying up on diner lingo. Clearly. <laughs> I'm too to be getting along. That's good. Hey, if we buy ice cream, we can keep it cool in the snow. Ice cream? In 20 degree weather? Ice cream in all weather. Athletic, graceful, and spirited. Sounds like you. Sorry, I might be movie star handsome, but I can't act for shit. <laughs> Don't worry, there's some actors who can't do that, and they're still made it. Free concert? Huh, interesting. Hmm. I should write down their info for after the move. Hmm. Is that the it? pumpkin's huge. Tyler, you want water, soda, juice? Whatever you want. I'm not picky. Wish any of it sounded good. <laughs> OJ sound good to you? Yep. Cool. She plays Mabel in Witches of Man, Album? They really what? upped their interior design game. Why would they I know about some silly show like for teenage right? girls? Any opinion on cleaning products? Only that using them is an unfortunate way to spend an afternoon. <laughs> mm, organic's better. E. Okay, I think we're done here. Tom will ring us up at the counter. Inventory, huh? Uh, yeah. My mind is so numb right now. Anyway, how's the shopping spree going? Finding everything you need? Allison, I'm waiting. Let's pay for the groceries. Yeah, I'd be done already, but I'm letting Tyler browse and take it all in. Must be weird for him to be back here. It is, and it doesn't help that everyone around here keeps making it weirder, but he's doing okay, all things considered. Hmm, I feel like there's a story there. Come on, spill. We, uh, we found some stuff in Marianne's room that really threw us for a loop. Do you want to talk about it? I do, but not here. And I think it also might not be my story to tell. But maybe all of us can hang out later and you can get the whole messy story. All right. Well, I'll be here if you need me. Thanks, Michael. Hey, Tyler, remember the Trout King? No way, still here. I thought Tom would have retired him by now. Are you kidding? 
He never misses a chance to tell customers he won a trout derby. It was a 12-pounder. <laughs> Look at all these license places. License plates. Allison, I'm waiting. Let's pay for the groceries. Alright, on my way. I was just looking. Jeez. Aren't you running for more gun control? My platform calls for sensible regulations, but folks around here need guns for safety. And as you know. We run extensive background checks before each and every sale. Hmm. Hmm. Political. All right, moving on. Will that be all? Yes. Thank you, Tom. Oh, hi, Tessa. We were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. My God, you look like a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. Yes. So we were out at the old house today. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprised it's even still standing. We found some stuff in Mary Ann's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? We want to ask you some questions about her. You're the only person who might have known Marianne better than us. I, I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. I know, but I need to ask. What is it? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Marianne was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. <sighs> what happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but it was God's plan. That's all we can know. I need to go now. Best of luck to you, truly. What the hell was that? I told you she wouldn't talk. It's like she's got CIA training. Something's weird here. It's weird, right? Yeah, I feel it too. It's like something's on the tip of my tongue. Guys, you all done yet? Yeah, Mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh, what's your excuse this time? An emergency with the beaver dam? Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you. Now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? Huh. I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it, but not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? Hmm. Uh, Mom, can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne, can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Okay. We remember that slightly differently. I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know? But whatever happened, after that, they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? Uh, no. 
Marianne defended us because Tessa got all preachy. Which is it going to be? I want to talk to you oh. now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? Mary Ann Please, was angry. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Tessa was No, angry. Tessa was. She went all Jack Thompson on Okay? Me. You hearing this? Mary Ann was looking for a fight. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. I think it's this one. Okay? Please, Marianne, I'm just trying. Stay away from my children. They don't need your guidance. I'm just trying to help. I don't need help. Not from you, not from anyone else in this fucking town. I'm done with all of you. You're done with the food I give you? The fuel? Maybe you are, but the kids are my children, Tessa. Mine, not yours. Please, let's not do this here. Let's go into my office. Fine. Okay. You two, wait here. What is wrong with you? Hmm. I'm still skeptical, but okay. For now, let's say Marianne was being Marianne. But once they got into the office, they both went at it. Hard. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? Don't know. It was impossible to hear anything after she cranked up the music. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. Hmm. Is she in there? Yes, she is. Can I help you, Allison? Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. Man, Tessa keeps track of everything in these notebooks. Like what? Any loans she's given out, the stuff she lets regulars take for free, even her tithes. And then what? She starts passing out horse heads if people don't pay her back? Uh, I think she just likes having a record. She's gonna hand it off to St. Paul like a resume. What's this doing here? Oh, got a collectible. Nice. So is that it? Just the collectible in this? Okay. Is there something I can do for you? Your fight with Mary Ann. Earlier you said Mary Ann kept everything to herself. But you two had a big fight a few months before her death. Didn't you? We argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. This wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Now, I was in the middle of something. Okay. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. I think she knows more than she's letting on. <sighs> a duh. But there's no way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about, she'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Maybe listening to it will trigger something. Hmm. You may be onto something here, Ronan. <laughs> we can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out what song it was. Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? This might be a weird question, but do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time? <laughs> How could I forget? Uh, I think she's still got the CD back here. A little worse for the wear, of course. Uh, hold on. 
Huh, here it is. I was happy when it got put away, to be honest. A bit cheesy for my tastes. This is it, right? I think so. I think so. <laughs> Whoa, I just got hit with a flood of memories. You seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah. Should we check this one out? Oh yeah? Tessa, come join me. You know you love this song. No, I couldn't possibly. Some of us are actually trying to get work done here. I forgot how carefree she could be. Yeah. What the hell happened? You think there's more memories lurking around? I don't know. Kids keep pressing for these candies. But they're so expensive. I'll just grab a bag. It's fine. Oh, no. I can't, Tessa. It's nothing. Okay. But write it down in your little notebook. Okay, okay. Whatever you want. There. Happy? Yes. And I'll be by on Wednesday to help you close. Like I promised. Tessa acted like she was Marianne's mom sometimes. I think you mean Tessa was self-righteous and treated Marianne like a charity case. She was trying to help. We should go find that notebook she was holding. Pretty sure I saw one marked 2004 in the office closet earlier. Hmm. What are you doing here? Uh, I thought you needed help with a storm. I needed help two hours ago. Have you been drinking? What? No, I just had a day, okay? I took a pill. I'm fine. Marianne. I said I'm fine. Kids, come on, let's go. Wait, please. I have something for you. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? They can handle this confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can help. What do you think that pamphlet was Tessa gave to Mary Ann? I don't know. I saw it in Mary Ann's room. It had a creepy vibe, but I didn't think much about it. It was bad, though. Like, maybe conversion therapy bad. I'm sorry. Whoa. If this is true, I want to know how Mary Ann felt about it. And we need to hit Tessa with some hard proof. Nine to five. Off buzzard hole, off buzzard hole, twelve to eight, nine to five. Allison is off Monday for family, and then off for Tuesday, and then nine to five for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Okay. That sounds about a normal work schedule. Can I help you, Allison? Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. Ah! 2004. Anything interesting? Hmm. Hmm. Oh. No show. It looks like Marianne started flaking on her debt in October 2004. Five months before that night.
Shouldn't we try to find something about the pamphlet Tessa gave Marianne? Good idea. What was the organization called? The Alliance Against Other People's Business? Is there something I can do for you? No, never mind. Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? How's Tessa today? She looked a bit overloaded earlier. She's a real busy bee. Ever since I started campaigning, she's picked up the slack around here. Uh, she's practically running the place. I hate to break it to you, but she always kind of has run the place. Well, now that's a matter of opinion. <laughs> How's business? Oh, a little light on customers, but that's given us time to finish up the inventory. I think we might close early. Maybe catch the final of Survival on Ice live. Uh, don't tell Tessa, but I'm rooting for Butch. She thinks he's too cutthroat. I say that's the game. You tried that new chocolate bar we got in last week? Oh, no. Not yet. I didn't think I'd like it. Habanero and chocolate. But it's not bad. What'll they think up next, huh? <laughs> What's next on the campaign trail? A rally down at the harbor. The fishermen are getting pretty fed up with business as usual. I've got some ideas about how to keep the fish populations up, but also put food on the table. Grab some flyers. Help spread the word. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Shouldn't we try to find something about the pamphlet Tessa gave Marianne? Good idea. What was the organization called? The Alliance Against Other People's Business? Closed? Uh-huh. Tessa's probably too busy with inventory, and business is way slow in the winter. Shouldn't we try to find something about the pamphlet Tessa gave Marianne? Good idea. What was the organization called? The Alliance Against Other People's Business? Hello there. Are you here for me or my cigarettes? Hey, you're more than just a pack of cigarettes to me. <laughs> Taking a break already? Yeah, I needed a moment of zen. Tessa's been on my ass all day. Look, I get one count wrong and she has to triple check everything like we'd go full on Lord of the Flies if there's one too many frozen pizzas. It kinda sounds like she has a good reason to doubt your commitment to the inventory process. Oof, Brutus. <laughs> so your deadline for the Culinary Academy was Monday, right? I turned in my application, mother dear. Oh, I'm so excited. Are you excited? Well, I will be once I know I got in. I am not worried about that. Did you give them my recommendation letter? Mmm, no, hon. While that paragraph about my salmon puff recipe was truly moving, it, it doesn't work like that. Just tell them I discovered Bourdain. Then they'll take my opinion seriously. <laughs> you working tonight? No, thank God. I've been pulling doubles all week. I'm working at the diner all day tomorrow, though. You want me to bring you anything? Uh, I'm trying to cut out carbs and grease for a while. Girl, you may as well just lay down in the dirt and let the bears take you, because that is no way to live. <laughs> Later. That is funny. Cause I'm trying to eat healthy too, and it's so dang hard to eat healthy. It's so hard. So, uh, this pamphlet, where do I need to... Hmm. Oh. Tessa's still doing that Bible study here every Wednesday? Oh, we can't look at that anymore? Okay. 
There's gonna be a lot of leftovers after the rapture. Athletic, graceful, and spirited. Sounds like you. Sorry, I might be movie star handsome, but I can't ask for shit. Hmm. I should write down their info for after the move. Was there any other pamphlets that I missed? Or something in the store? Tesla's Cafe Alaska. Oh, wait, what's this? Shouldn't we try to find something about the pamphlet Tessa gave Marianne? Good, uh, Tessa? Is it okay if I run a quick Google search? My phone's dead. Sure, but make it quick. I'm going to need the computer. Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. Wait, what? Is that what she recommended for Tyler? I don't know what to say. I'm sorry, Tyler. Yeah. Let's see how Tessa explains this one away. Hmm. We got her. I think we've seen enough. Yeah, we've got a good sense of what went down. Let's talk to Tessa. We got the receipts. Is there something I can do for you? What are you up to? So what are you doing there? Oh, just inventory. Guess I'm lucky I had the day off, huh? <laughs> yes, what a lucky coincidence. We're back. With details that should help your memory. Oh, really? Yes, really. Marianne was having one of her days. You were trying to talk, but she wasn't cooperating. The two of you started arguing, and you went in the office and cranked up that song you both loved. Hmm. And when was that? Well, our memories don't exactly have timestamps. When was that? April? April 2004. Isn't that when she stopped trying to pay off her debts? Mm -mm, no, that doesn't sound right. We were still on good terms then. So you did end up on bad terms at some point? When? I honestly can't pinpoint the exact moment. But she got harder and harder to be around. I'm sure we never fought about money, though. I, I could see that she was struggling. Yeah, we didn't think you guys were arguing about money. Remember the day she was supposed to help you get ready for Bible study? And she showed up hours late and totally wasted? Was that it? I'm sorry. I'm really trying hard, but I just can't remember. Your mother acted erratic for months. We fought many times. Was it ever about me? It was always about a lot of things. She was struggling with everything at the end. Did you try to convince Marianne to send Tyler to some kind of program? No. And I think you should go now. Tessa, I'm here to figure out if Marianne tried to kill me because of who I am. Do you get that? I do. I just... Then why won't you help me? I truly don't understand what went on in her mind that day. And it will always be my deepest regret that I didn't see it coming. I hope you find your answers. I really do. I pray every night for you, too. But I... I have a lot on my plate right now, so I need to ask you to leave. Well, that didn't go so well. 
Sure, we'd hate to be a burden. Can we have our groceries? Ah, uh, um, Michael already put them in your trunk. Okay, thanks. Bye, Tom. See you later. What are you thinking? Just trying to wrap my brain around all that. She led us on a bit of a conversational snipe hunt, didn't she? Yeah, but it's kind of an answer, right? She didn't want to admit what they were fighting about, which makes me think it was me. You spooked her with that talk about the program. I think Marianne really was trying to figure out how to support me before whatever the hell happened that pushed her over the edge. You may be right. Yeah. She stood up for me, Allison. She was still crazy Marianne, but she saw me. I feel lighter. Like I've been carrying something around for the last 10 years and now it's gone. I, I'm really happy for you. But... That just opens a whole new box of Pandora's, doesn't it? Yeah, a whole damn shipping crate full. Good thing Eddie's expecting us. He knew Marianne pretty well, and he was in charge of her case. Did he ever mention anything about the investigation to you? No, I never asked. And I'm sure he thought I was better off not knowing. Guess that might have made for some awkward dinner conversation. Exactly. But I mean, he's a good cop. Thorough. I'm sure he's got something. This is kind of bleak. It's usually more crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. <laughs> There's no crime after six? In the mean streets of Delos Crossing? Just bears and drunken disorderlies. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. What a hero. <laughs> anyway, he's probably in his office upstairs. What a place. Damn, they've still got this creepy mascot, huh? <laughs> Alrighty, guys, I have to end my video from here, and I'll see you on the next episode. Tell me why. Bye-bye.